Hey everyone, Adrienne here. Welcome back to my channel for a video update on my post FAI surgery recovery. Um, it is September, I think 22nd or so. So that means I've passed the three month post surgery mark from my right hip FAI surgery. And I know I haven't come on to give an update in a while. So here we are today. And definitely want to share with you guys how I'm feeling, how recovery has been, and kind of just my mindset and physically how I'm feeling after my surgery, which was on June 13th, 2018. So I have been in the last month having quite a few issues, and I'd like to be able to come on here and say that my recovery is continuing to do really well and that everything is super positive. But I have to say that the last two or three weeks have been really, really trying for me, both mentally and physically, um, since my hip surgery. And I'm gonna go into a little bit of why I'm feeling that way and just some of the things I'm feeling and just uh, what I plan to do go forward from here. So really quickly, as far as my scars are concerned, um, they've healed up really nicely. All of the scar tissue has seemed to go away for the most part. Um, I've been doing massage, I've been using Mederma, I used vitamin E serum as well, and the scars are actually uh, healing better than I thought. I was actually able to kind of go out in the sun with them. I actually just returned from a trip to Greece and was a little self-conscious about what my scars were going to look like in a bathing suit, and honestly, they were fine. I let them get out in the sun. I did put some SPF uh, sun protection over them, but I'll show you guys really quickly what my scars look like now that it is three months post FAI surgery. So as you guys can see, I do have two incision marks. The front one or the lower one is where most of the tools were used, so it's a little thicker, but overall they can be covered very easily with my shorts. Okay, so as you can see, the scars still are a little bit darker than my regular skin color. Um, you can definitely cover them with just a pair of shorts and unless you're really just in a bathing suit no one will ever even know that you've had surgery in gym shorts in nike pro shorts it completely is covered so they're high enough up that the only time you really see them is when you're wearing a bathing suit a lot of the time when i was recovering i did cover my scars with band-aids just to prevent them getting darker and honestly um, when it came time to go on vacation, I just really didn't care and just made sure to put an SPF over them um, on top of them and it was completely fine. So as far as the incision area, everything feels normal. All of that feeling has finally come back. Uh, in month two post-surgery, I still had a lot of numbness on the side of my leg and that is feeling fine now. Everything feels normal to the touch. No numbness, no bruising, no swelling everything is you know, back to normal minus some scars. So that's pretty exciting three months post-op. So as far as physical therapy is concerned, uh, I did do about one month of physical therapy about a week after my surgery and I did that at a Kessler uh, rehab center and honestly um, going two times a week and just doing just basic stretching and range of motion it was good but to be honest um, I stopped going to physical therapy after about a month because I just really didn't feel like it was more sports rehabilitation I just felt like I was surrounded by a lot of old people who were just learning how to walk again and I felt like I needed something a little bit more challenging to do and um, just really didn't feel like I was getting a lot out of my physical therapy after like the first month so I stopped going and um, just started to train myself in my home gym using bands and balls and the uh, stationary bike which helped a lot and that was fine and yeah I stopped going to physical therapy after the first month. I did go for a checkup with my orthopedic surgeon about a month and a half after surgery and everything was looking good feeling good he said the scars looked good and he wanted me to make another appointment six weeks later which will be um probably in the next week or two i'll go back to him again i did miss my appointment because i was traveling but um to be honest i'm not quite sure what i'm going to get out of that second appointment other than just like hey how are you feeling good great okay see you in like six months so um Right now, I, unless they're gonna do like an MRI or something, I really don't find the value in going back, but I know I should, so I'll probably reschedule that appointment. 
um, now that I'm past that three month mark. So as far as training is concerned, I've started to get back into the gym, doing strength training at least three or four times a week. Uh, I continue to do cardio, but I can't do any kind of like jumping and I can't do any kind of like explosive activities. So like squat jumps and things like that, I just can't do. Um, it really hurts the hip and anything that like puts a lot of pressure on the joint, it's still a little difficult, but otherwise I can do pretty much everything. Um, I do notice that my squats, if I'm watching myself in the mirror, that I can definitely see that there's a difference in my hips when I'm doing my squats. Like one leg is definitely compensating for the other and it just doesn't feel like completely secure just yet. So I've been doing very basic squats. Uh, I haven't been doing any like heavy load squatting and um, a lot of the times I just use the bench to just give me a marker of where to sit and then stand back up. But training wise, everything feels good, just nothing explosive and even running. I can do some running, but I just don't do a ton because anything with that really um, hard pressure or um, I don't know, it just feels like too much on the hip joint to do just yet. So I'll work my way back into running soon, but uh, if something doesn't feel good, I just don't do it. And if I'm in the midway of an exercise and I can tell that it doesn't feel right, I just skip it and really listen to my body, which is very important for recovery. So how am I feeling overall three months post-op? My hip feels fine. Um, I have no soreness. I have no issues with range of motion. I'll actually show you some of my range of motion, which is just like remarkable that I can do a lot of these things again three months post-surgery. But my biggest concern right now is that my lower back pain on that same side has come back. And it really, really is disheartening because that was what started my journey into FAI surgery in the beginning was that my lower back on my right side would constantly feel locked up. I'd feel a lot of pressure and if I would lean, I could feel a really bad pain pulling down into my glutes and down into my thigh. And that unfortunately has come back and um, it's debilitating. Like throughout the day, I'm constantly trying to twist and turn to pop out my lower back. Um, when I sleep at night, it really, really hurts if I try and move positions. Um, if I'm doing any type of exercise that requires strength in my lower back, it just really does not feel comfortable. And I constantly have that feeling of that like pulling um, pain in the lower back, which really has me nervous because when I did do MRI tests, I was shown that my L4 and L5 joint have degeneration. I also saw in the MRI with the doctor that there is some fluid around that area, which means there's inflammation. And I am beginning to think that, I don't know, maybe this whole pain I was feeling this entire time was my back and not my hip. And as you can imagine, going through any kind of surgery and then coming out on the other side still feeling the pain you had in the beginning just really crushes you mentally because I feel like, did I just go through this entire thing? Surgery, recovery, taking time off of work, putting myself on hold for doing my training to come out on the other side and still have pain. And that's kind of where I'm at right now, which I wanted to share with you guys, is that while I have no pain in my hip, I have pain in my lower back again. And it's like crushing. Um, I'll show you guys where my pain is. And uh, because I do have issues with my lower back with those two discs, um, I've been doing a lot of research on SI joint pain. Is that what I have? Um, should I start going back to a chiropractor? Should I go back and meet with my doctors and show them kind of where that pain is and let them know like the surgery just did not fix my lower back pain? Um, so yeah, I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on that if you've gone through FAI hip surgery and actually wound up still having lower back pain on that same side because that's where I am right now. So I'll show you guys where my pain is in my lower back and then I'll also show you guys kind of like how my range of motion has come back so quickly after FAI surgery, which again kind of makes me a little bit concerned. Like was my hip really that bad? Was my labrum really that torn? If I'm able to do some of the things that you guys are gonna see only three months out, it just is really messing with my mind to think that maybe I went through all of this for nothing. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. 
So the right side, which I'm pointing to, is also where I had my hip surgery done. Where my thumb is pointing is where most of the pain starts from. And if I lean or stretch to the side, it really radiates pain down into the top part of the back of my hip, down into the glute, and down through the thigh. And this is a constant pain that I feel throughout the day on my right side. Now I'm gonna show you guys just how crazy quick my range of motion has come back. I am able to do complete butterfly outs. I can lift my leg, I can do lunges. I basically can do everything that I did post-surgery. Uh, I can do a pretty deep squat as you can see here. I can do lunges. I mean, everything in my hip feels good. I feel strong in the hip. I do constantly have to kind of pop it out still and I'm actually still having uh, problems with having to pop my hip every morning again, which I had prior to surgery and is back as well. So as you can see, everything kind of bounced back quickly and I'm still having that hip popping like I had before surgery. Overall, I'm feeling pretty discouraged. Everything with my hip has healed and yet I'm still left with pain that I had prior to surgery. All right guys, so as you can see, I'm super flexible in my hip. A lot of that stuff doesn't hurt me at all. Um, I do still get popping in my hip, both sides. Uh, I thought that that would go away after surgery and that's kind of what I was told too, is that once they shaved down the bone, I would have a smoother movement in the joint and then I wouldn't have popping, but I still have popping and it's still really loud and obnoxious. Um, so yeah, that is my update. Three months post FAI surgery, still having back pain that's come back in my right side, still have that pulling pain, and I still have a little bit of soreness in the front of the joint. So as you can imagine, if you put my yourself in my shoes, my dog obviously has no pain. Um, I have some soreness from having had the surgery in the front, and now I still have pain in my lower back. So if anything, I've added and contributed to my pain because now I have two areas that are bothering me all the time now. Even sitting right now, I feel like I want to pop my lower back because it hurts so bad from the pressure. Um, so that's three months post-op. Uh, sorry that, to say that it's not completely positive, but I will keep you guys updated and let you know kind of what my next course of action is. Um, I would rather be open and honest about how I'm feeling and not say like it's all rainbows and butterflies and getting surgery was like the best thing to do because I feel like I'm still dealing with issues. So I'll report back soon on what happens over the next month, um, but that's where I am today. Thank you guys so much for being interested still. If you guys are going through hip surgery, FAI, if you have hip pain, if you're considering surgery and have any questions, feel free to throw those in the comments down below. I'd be happy to answer based on my own experience. And if you are a doctor or a physical therapist who has any tips, feel free to throw those down below as well. I'm happy to listen and kind of figure out what the next uh, treatment plan is for me. But I hope you guys have a great day and I'll chat with you all very soon. Take care.